The Media Foundation for West Africa on Wednesday spoke out against increased attacks on Ghanaian journalists in the line of duty. The foundation said Ghana will sleep in the rankings on freedom of the press in the wake of the developments. In an exclusive interview with GBC24, the executive director of the Media Foundation for West Africa, Suleiman Abraima, called for respect for press freedom. Mr. Suleiman Abraima said the time has come for media companies to protect their employees and journalists if perpetrators of these crimes go unpunished. Due to the air of impunity with which these crimes were committed, the executive director suggested that government officials attempt to deter people from committing acts of violence and vandalism by issuing public statements. The responsibility for the protection of journalists and dealing with the issue of impunity rest with the state. And so I think government has a big re uh, responsibility. Now, when you have such demonstration from the leadership of government, then you are confident that if the president himself um, calls a journalist to apologize for uh, an incident of harassment, then if a minister or um, a mere chief executive um, wants to commit something like that, they would think twice. The idea is not to say, well, a journalist has been beaten, so the government or a minister has issued a statement and therefore that is enough. But we are saying that the protection of journalists is not about when the incident has happened already, but mechanisms that are put in place to ensure that people are deterred, people are, you know, it, it, it would be unattractive for somebody to think of abusing a journalist. Although the media undoubtedly makes some ethical violations, the National Media Commission exists in order to ensure the professionalism and accuracy of journalists' reports. In Tamale, radio justice was vandalized. In Wa, the police stormed a radio station to pick up a panelist. In uh, Doma Hinkru, the um, Irish youth attacked um, a radio station there um, for you know, um, broadcasting uh, a news item which they thought the chief or the, the traditional leader in the area had said it shouldn't be put out. Um, what happened in Kumasi over the weekend uh, was, you know, um, a newspaper reporter. Um, so it cuts across. What we are yet to see is what also happened to, say, bloggers, citizen journalists, and so on and so forth. But perhaps it's also because um, technically we are not monitoring uh, incidents of violations on these platforms because the violations sometimes go beyond physical violations to technical violations, to surveillance, to privacy issues, and so on and so forth. It is believed that these attacks are more likely in retaliation to more critical investigative reporting from the media. Given what is happening now, with the incidents of violations continuously happening, um, my sense is that um, in the next ratings of press freedom across the world, Ghana is most likely to slip from where it is now as a, um, a free press country. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs>